guys welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video i will be showing you on how to install a software on your laptop or your pc there are 10 softwares that i'm going to show you and that softwares are cisco packet tracer eagle pcb design vmware workstation circuit wizard electronic workbench fritzing arduino autocad google sketchup and open broadcast software so now let us proceed to the first software that I'm going to teach you on how to download. The OAP Studio or Open Broadcast Software. Open Broadcast Software is a free and open source software suit for recording and live streaming. So ito ngayon yung ginagamit ko na bang record itong tutorial. So if, I'll just put the link on the description box para madali nyo na lang siya. So, pag nandito na kayo, just click the windows, then automatic mag-download na siya. Pero, ikakansel ko muna kasi andito na siya sa aking uh, laptop. So, pag download ko na siya, punta lang kayo sa folders and then makikita nyo na siya sa downloads. Then, ito siya, Old Studio. Then, right click, Run Administrator. Then, yes. Pero Oak Studio is already run. Hindi ko na siya pwedeng i-reinstall kasi nandito na siya sa ano, sa laptop ko. Ginagamit ko na siya. So, ngayon, let's proceed to the next software that we are going to download. The Cisco Packet So, let's now proceed on how to install the Cisco Packet Just going also to put the link in the description box para madaling na. So, pag nandito na kayo, just click download. Yan, automatic na rin siya magda-download. So, let us wait for it to download. But first, let me discuss what is Cisco Packet Tracer first. Cisco Packet Tracer. A packet tracer is a cross-visual simulation tool designed by Cisco System that allow user to create network or topologies and imitate modern computer networks. Yan. This software teaches us now, network can be configured and it is very much needed if you have taken a course on Cisco. Packet Tracer helps students and instructors create their own virtual. And when it is done downloading, just click this and open. Then, ito na yung lalabas. Just X and this one, application. Double click, then mag-extract na siya. Yes. Switch for it, then I accept the agreement. This one, just choose where files you want to put in. Next, 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 then install. And just wait for it to extract and install it. There, it's all now done. Then finish. And let's see how it works. Ito na siya. So, 
here is the Cisco packet tracer. Let us now proceed to the next software that we are going to download. Let us now proceed to the next software and I will also put the link on the description box for you to access this page. Then when you are here, just click the free download. Here, then download. Just wait for it to load. Automatically, it will download now. Then, what is Google SketchUp? A program used for wide range for 3D modeling projects like architectural, <coughs> interior design, landscape architecture, and video game design. To name a few of its uses, the program includes drawing layout functionality surface rendering and support third plugins from the extension house so that what is google sketch up so let us now wait for this one to download then it's all set then just click the arrow then open then yes it is the installer extracting preparing to install next I accept the terms of the license agreement next install so let us just wait for this software to install in our laptop Then it's all set. Finish. Right click. And then we are all set now. all done installing so let us now proceed to the other software software the electronic workbench and for you also to come up with this page i will put the link on the description box and when you're here just choose the latest one the february 11 so now just this one click it and then automatically it will download and i will also cancel it already have it. Then just go to your files and find the electronic workbench. Then right click run as administrator. Then yes. Now what is electronic workbench? Electronic workbench is a design tool that provides you with all the components and instruments to create board level design on your PC. Finish. Here, electronic workbench. You're all done. Now let us download the free thing. I will also put the link on the description box. Then just click the free download. And here, choose a download. 
Now downloading, but I will also cancel it because I already downloaded it. Let's go. It's here, freezing. Then extract here. Swing for it. What is freezing? It's a great open source tool for anyone to teach, share, and prototype their electronic projects. It allows you to design a schematic and thus a part which can then be added to very professional looking wiring diagrams. You can even design your own PCBs and have them fabricated from the files you designed. After, here is the file. Just go to the folder and click this one, application. <coughs> then run as administrator. Yes. Then here you go. You're all set. All done now. There, all done. So let us now go to the other some Download the Eagle or the Autodesk Eagle. So, for you to come up with this page, I'm just going to put the link on the description box. Para madali na lang mga then when you are here, just click the free download, then start download, then after, I'll just cancel this one because I already have it, I already downloaded it, but when you finish downloading it, just go to your file folder and you can see this one, Autodesk Eagle 9.6.2 English something. Then right click, run as administrator, then yes, then I accept the agreement, next, next, create a step shortcut, but this is an optional number, next, then install, then just wait Then after installing, just click the finish, then just wait for it to pop up on you. There. First, what is Autodesk Eagle? It is a scriptable electronic design automation application with schematic capture, printed circuit board layout, auto router, and computer aided manufacturing fixtures. And after, here is it. Yes, so now let us download the Arduino. We'll also put the link on the description box. Just check it down there. So when you're here, just click the Windows installer for Windows 7 and up. There. It's downloaded. I will also cancel this one because I have it in here. 
Mayroon po ni Medangios and Arduino run as administrator. Yes. Then just wait for it to extract. What is Arduino software? This is a software easy to use for the beginners yet flexible enough for advanced users. It runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Teachers and students use it to build low-cost scientific instruments to prove chemistry and physics principles or to get with programming and robotics. So that what is Arduino. So let us now wait for it to extract. Now completed already. Here, it's all done. Then now let us download this one VMware Workstation Pro. To access this link, I will just put it on my description box below. Then just scroll it down. Then you can see this one, download 64 bit, then click, then wait for this one. Just wait for it. Just wait for your request to be granted. Then here, here it is already, then it is downloading, but I will cancel it. Because as you can see, I've already downloaded it here. Then I'll go to my downloads, then this one. Then extract here. Then put the password one two three. Yes, yes. And then after, I will open it. After extracting, open it. Then put again the password. X. Then file folder. Set up. Then here one application. Then click. Just wait for it again. So what is VMware Workstation? A virtual, it is a virtualization and a computing software provider based in Palo Alto, Cali, founded in 1998. VMware is a subdiary of Dell Technologies with VMware Server Virtualization, a hypervision, is installed by a physical server to allow for a multiple virtual machine to run on the same physical server. So for this one, VMware Installation Manager, just yes. Then here it is now on ready installing. Then just next, I accept the terms in license agreement. Then next, loading, loading. Later, na lang natin siya reboot, but it's okay. So next, make sure to check this one. This both blocks in here the next next then click install to begin so let us install it now install it
So now the installation is all done. Then finish. So here it is now VMware Workstation. Open. Let us take a look on how is it work. There you go, VMware Workstation. Let's just keep this version here. We're all set. So now let us download the AutoCAD. I'll just put the link on the description box para madaling nyo na lang di siya makata. So, pag nandito na kayo, scroll down nyo lang, then makikita nyo itong download 64 bit. Then, click nyo lang yun. Tapos, hintayin nyo lang itong matapos. Then, matik yun na mapupunta siya dito sa baba. Tapos, pag nandito na siya, wait nyo lang siya kasi medyo matagal to. Kasi 2.4 GB siya. Baka 2 to 3 hours siya depende sa bilis ng internet niya. Pero ako na-download ko naman siya in 1 hour. So, baka mabilis na. Pero I'll cancel it kasi meron na siya dito sa sa aking mga files. Cancel. Then, file. Ito na siya. Right click, mount, tapos set up. Double click, and yes. So, install. I accept, then next. Install. And wait lang natin to mag-install. And what is AutoCAD? AutoCAD is a computer-aided software drafting program. It is used for a number of applications like creating blueprints for buildings, bridges, and computer chip to name a few. AutoCAD is also a 2D and 3D computer-aided drafting software application. Then, there it is finished. Here. Right click then, run as administrator. Yes. Wait lang natin. Kasi masyadong malaki yung file, kaya matagal. Then, click OK. That's it. It's still loading. And here is our Autodesk AutoCAD now. Awesome. And so that's it for our video. I hope you enjoy and learn from this tutorial that I made. So see you in my next vlog. Peace!